Well, um, a new factory just yesterday, no? Um, actually, this is really for the prosecutors to, to, to introduce into evidence. Uh, about uh, the absence of General Bantag on the September 9 graduation uh, in Bilibid, the graduation of uh, Perpetual Health Hospital, uh, Perpetual Health University, University of Perpetual Health uh, Delta. Uh, it's a significant uh, lead that he was absent on that day. Okay, so panibagong update naman to guys sa ating sausawan. Pero bago yan, kalimata mag-subscribe at kung saka ng video na to bilang supporta sa ating momenting channel. Secretary Boying Rimolia, bigay ng panibagong update, agong mga recovery facts at mga ebidensya against suspended view corps ship general and tag na ating sabay-sabay na mapapanood right after short intro. Pasok mo na. I have you. So on that day, Percy Lapid went to his house to examine, to, to take pictures of his house and his figures. And that uh, the narrations are very clear, uh, given to me very clear, about this man. Sir, may mga peers na po ba nalang kami sa Neto or Bandag? Wala pa, wala pa. Uh, ang, ang ano ko lang sa kanila, sana, sumagot sila ng counter affidavit, huwag sila sa media sasagot. Ang counter affidavit sila, kaya ang proseso ng batas natin eh, di ba? Iga lang nila yung batas, wala agad sila ng batas eh, tapos ganyan sila magsalita, di ba? Wala nga walang drama-drama. Face it like a man, di ba? Pag hindi ka lalaki, if you cannot face it, then what are you? Di ba? Face it. Ang dami-daming drama eh. Sa nakita mo ba sila sa nakikipig sa nakikipig? Ah, destined yung nakakit. He's done. Yung request ko pa kayo sa Eastern Funeral na huwag nila i-dispose mo na yung mga bagay. Kino-coordinate na ng isang undersecretary ang prime attorney. Sa isang pagpapay result ng parang sa MBI ko sa akin, sa 120 ka na? 120. Siyempre sa MBI will be given the first crack of this kasi it's a DOJ undertaking. But the PNP will also be given a similar copy of all the results kasi siya joint naman ang aming operation sa ito sa bagay na ito. It's also a police matter. Sa clarify ko yung September 9, Si Bantag yung pumula sa bahay, Percy Lapid. Hindi, si Percy Lapid, sa bahay niya. Sa, ano, sa Laguna. Yun yung, ano, pagkatapos na lumabas yung Cinderella, Cinderella man, ni Percy Lapid. That was the basis. So that day itself, nung nalaman ni Bantag, ni Diano Bantag, na ando si Percy Lapid sa Laguna, medyo nagalit. At, if, if, ayun. Nawala na siya. He didn't ever go back to BDB. He went back to Laguna, and then, ah, hindi na siya kumatay ng graduation. Because, it's very significant because graduation ng University of Perpetual Health, andun lahat ng board of trustees niya. They're all present. These are people who really are doing a great service to the national penitentiary. Kasi they're providing college education to many of the inmates na who want to do it. Yung kanyang hindi pagbalik doon, it's a sign also, it's a sign also that he was very mad. He was very, very vivid about it. Sa bahay niya, sa Laguna. Of course, it's a natural reaction. But it's just been related to me yesterday na yun, yun talaga naging reaction niya. Sir, anong sir, magkakumunta? Yun nga, yung ano nga, gumagawa siya ng storya, yung Cinderella naman, yung kanyang video. Yun yun eh. Lumabas yung Cinderella naman, I think 15 na eh. September 15. September 9, nung pumunta sa bahay niya para kumuha ng pictures sa village. Tapos September 17, Nagsimula na yung plots. Nagsimula na lahat. Everything came into motion. Kaya makikita nyo, meron talagang... There's a string that ties everything together. Sige mga pindi na pumunta sa bahay ni Bantag, wala raw siya doon this past few days. Ah, hindi ko alam. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the law says that uh, the subpoena and the papers uh, that he has to receive should be delivered to his last known address. I would say so because remember they're government officials. Hindi ka pwedeng umalis sa Pilipinas pag wala kang tapot authority unless they secured passports that just did not reflect their true their true professions. Sir, yung precautionary for departure order, sir, kailan po mailalabas kaya? It's being processed by the DOJ then. Sir, bago na lang si NBI, ano po yung ginagawa na gagawin nga ba para mas mag-develop pa? Maging mas advanced ang gamit po ng NBI? Um, Pinag-uusapan namin ng Director Dilemos sa changes na kinakailangan dito. And uh, we want to, you know, we want to 
complete their laboratories, uh, i-upgrade natin ang, ano, ang skills ng ating mga medical legal. Uh, lahat, ng, lahat ng mga tao na gumagawa ng laboratory work at lahat ng scientific work. Uh, mahal kasi ngayon, science-based na talaga ngayon ang technology. Science-based. Uh, we want that to happen. Okay, bibigyan natin siya. Bibigyan natin siya. Remember, uh, the NBI autopsy report was on the first day of our investigation as DOJ and NBI. Kasi yung araw na yon, doon lang namin nalaman na namatay nga si William Moore. And he was a witness. We were not involved in the investigation. I was told about this at around 10.30 or 11 in the morning. By 2 o'clock, the NBI was there already to conduct an autopsy. Without any inkling of what the case was all about. We only knew that Percy Lapid was killed and that this, this inmate was, was dead. And we had to find out why. So the, the, the NBI had no information, was blind at that time. There's no inconsistency with the findings of Dr. Fortune because Dr. Fortune's findings were already educated by the dying declaration, which we gave to her, and the affidavit, which we also furnished her to, to see if her findings would be consistent with that. So in that regard, there's no inconsistency. I think uh, the NBI found a precursor, but not itself, uh, uh, in their laboratory test. Uh, but the uh, doctor for doing that, he didn't tell Well, they will have the first crack, of course. Because it's the uh, yes, scientific na, na process. Niyan. We want them to, to have a hand in it. But ano niyan, we will also refer to the police. Because eh, remember, all of these people uh, went to jail and died in jail. Many of them were there because of the NBI or the police. So we give due courtesy to both agencies. Hindi, yun lang ang capacity ng PJH and the PJH. 176 yung uh, accounted for the cadavers ngayon na galing ang mga PDL nandun sa Eastern Federal Home. So yung remaining sir, then at the uh, dadaling pa rin ba? Uh, we will see. We will, uh, ang, ang, ang trabaho ng DOJ ngayon and uh, the attached agencies is to locate the families of these people. Remember, these are people. They're cadavers of people who had families. Uh, subukan natin sila bigyan ng decent burial. We'll try to give them a decent burial. Okay, welcome guys. Nandito sa nagisang channel mayan RDD TV sa Bo. Okay, guys. So 120 cadavers ang ipapadala sa I think Philippine General Hospital yung namention niya for autopsy. Kani lang titingnan kung magkaroon ba na similar na finding kasi sa cause of death ay deklara ang ano sabi bang ka. Sa totoo lang guys, imedyo kakalungkot na balita yun dahil daming na discovery no. Pero ito ba ay ginagawa nila para mapin down lang itong si General Laban. What if lumabas ka nilang finding sooner na natural cause na talaga ang ikinasaway ng mga nasabing adover na yun. Take note guys, overcrowded ang sabing facilities na yun. Lumampas talaga sa dapat na pasiting lang sana na kanyang ihuhol. Pag sabihin natin, overcrowded, nandiyan na yung init. Blima sa kalinisan, kulangan sa budget para sa pagkat, proper ventilation, which is very crucial sa mga matatanda, mga may sakit, hypertension, kulangan sa sustansya ng kanilang kinakain, sa mga kainda-indang ramdaman. Ang tanong natin dito, kung yung sakali, sulta na yun, hindi tutugma sa kanilang gusto, magawan ba nilang ng paraan para hindi na muling karoon na ganong numbers of death sa sabing facility na yun. Huwag nyo naman sigurang sabihin na ginagawang death fell di General Bantag National Believed. At I'm sure, kung sakali may namamatay dyan dahil sa isang krimen, hindi na rin nakakapagtataka guys. Dahil hugad yan, retoryo yan sa mga taong walang halang na kaluluwa. Mga kayang gumawa sa pang krimen for the sake of survival na hoping someday magkaroon sila ng chance ang makalaya o makalaba sa mabuti man o sa mara, masamang paraan. Then doon naman tayo sa pangalawang issue guys na, na sabi niya na wala daw di umano itong si General Bantag panahon ng uh, graduation ceremony. Well, ano naman kinalaman sa Percy Lapid case? Is it enough para bihin nila uh, during that time ay pinaplanuhan ni General Bantag pamanmanan at papatay ito with Lester na ito? I think di yun gagawin ng isang tao dahil nga sakali ay mangyaring masama na sabi ng broadcaster na yun ay siya ang maging number one suspect well, siya ang kinahuli-hulihan personalidad na binabanatan nito. Kaya nga ayun pa ni Atty. Sal Panelo na mag-isip-isip naman minsan at mag-aral. Hindi puro uh, interview sa media, magpapabango. Anyway guys, parang nakakalibutan nata, no? Secretary Remulia, siya pala ang head or hippie ng nasabi government agency sa posibleng mag-prosecute kanyang anak. Sana pala ngayon at anong estado na kanyang anak na involved sa droga. Ang kaya nakakulong yun. Parang nalimutan natin na. Diba one time, anong itong si Secretary Remulia? Anong kanyang komento? Hindi siya nagbibigay ng pahayag. Dapat be man enough. Hindi maging double standard. Something unusual. Yung pinagdudahan, si General Bantag 
Santa ay sinuspendi. Well, that's a prerogative ng Pangulo. Pero itong mismong si Secretary of Justice na mismo anak niya na involved sa drug ay bakit hindi po ito sinuspendi? Just asking guys ha, hindi ako dilawan pero minsan papapatanong rin tayo nito. Okay, so maraming salamat guys. I'll leave it to you kung ano ang mga salubin. Paki-comment sa comment section at i-may-may yun yan. Till next time, bye-bye.